whilst I cannot give any confirmation at this stage around uh, fatalities and casualties, what I can say is that it is clear that this is one of New Zealand's darkest days. I, there was a bench, I just lie down on my half body under the bench and my legs are out and pretending to stop my breath and he changed magazines seven times and I start bang 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 and then when the bullets finish then he starts changing the magazine and then again so the, the mosque is in about few compartments so he went to all different compartments and he shoot everywhere. We saw many injured bullets in arms and bombs and everywhere. One woman was right there. She was just lying on the road. And I don't know how many people died. The guy I was compressing, he, um, he was trying to ring his wife. And I managed to get it and I answered the phone and I said to her, your husband's been shot outside the mosque. I said, and don't come here to Dean's Ave, you won't get through, but please go to the hospital, wait for him. And then I kept talking to him and telling him that she was at the hospital waiting and he wasn't to give up. And yeah, we just kept pressure on and did the best we could for him until we got him some help. I never thought of him, I'm 66, I never thought in my life I'd love to see something like this, not in New Zealand. Many of those who will have been directly affected by this shooting uh, may be migrants to New Zealand. They may even be refugees here. They have chosen to make New Zealand their home and it is their home. They are us. The person who has perpetuated this violence against us is not. They have no place in New Zealand.